Let's mine some Ravencoin on our 1660 Ti. What is up miners and welcome back to the 3 Fox Company YouTube channel where we do rig builds, gear reviews and how to crypto videos. I am Jacques and in this video we'll be mining Ravencoin with our 1660 Ti's. We'll be having a look at overclocks, hash rate and profitability. So let's go into the video. So let's quickly go over some key features and specifications of the 1660 Ti that I'm using. I'm currently testing a Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660 Ti Windforce OC 6G GPU. Some basic features are uh, it's got integrated 6 GB GDDR6 192-bit memory interface. It's got the Windforce 2X cooling system with alternate spinning fans. Also, it's got four output ports. That is one HDMI output port as well as three DisplayPort outputs. A few technical specifications on the 1660 Ti that I'm using. So it's got a core clock of 1845 MHz. It's got 1536 CUDA cores. It's got 6 GB of memory as mentioned, GDDR6. And also it's got a memory bandwidth of 288 GB per second. Okay, just a quick recap on the happenings around Ravencoin in the last few days. As you all might have known that the block rewards actually halved on January 11, 2022, where the block reward went from 5,000 Ravencoin per block down to 2,500 Ravencoin per block. And this is also evident in the graph that I'm showing you here. So you can see the network hash rate. It stabilized around 8.25 up to about 8.25. 5 tera ashes on the Ravencoin network and you can see that it actually went down during the month of December down to about 6.9 tera ashes per second and when the news broke to the wider community about the happening that's coming up in January you can see that there was a significant increase in the network hash rate when it reached the peak on January 6 at about 10 tera ashes per second also this had to do with the price increase in Raymond coin during this period and then you could see the ash rate just fell off a cliff just after the happening happened on January 11th so obviously with the block rewards being cut in half the profitability went down half as well and it took a few days for the network difficulty to catch up so on this graph you can see the difficult also increased significantly from the low in december of 95k up to about 140k at the peak of the season currently the difficulty went down to about 79k and currently it's slightly going up again so over in HiveOS, you can see I'm using GPU Zero, which is my 1660 Ti. And I'm going to compare this to the 1660 Super that I've got on GPU One. So this is with stock settings on the 1660 Ti. You can see we are getting 15 mega ashes per second, which might sound excellent. But you can see this comes at 128 watts. And this is definitely not sustainable. As you can see, my temperature is already at 70 degrees Celsius and the fan is already running at 98%. So definitely we will not be able to run this for prolonged periods of time. So I'll be going ahead and show you just what the efficiency is at this setting. And here you can see, although we're getting 15 mega ashes per second at 128 watts, the efficiency is only 117 kilo ashes per watt and that compared to the 1660 super at this stage which is getting 12.5 mega ashes at 89 watts at an efficiency of 141 kilo ashes per watt so back in ivo is i'm going to my overclock settings for this gpu and what i found works best on the 1660 ti is 125 megahertz on the core clock on the memory clock I leave it at zero as I don't gain anything from adding a memory overclock and then I set my power limit at 90 watts which I found to be the most efficient for this GPU. So we just go ahead and apply this. So we'll just wait for iOS to update the hash rate on this GPU and then we'll go over to the miner and see what efficiency we are getting with this new overclock setting. Okay now we are inside T-Rex miner and you can see so we ran a few cycles We've updated the hash rate and the efficiency. So currently we are getting 13.41 mega ashes per second on the 1660 Ti at 89 watts reported in the miner. You can also see that the efficiency went up to 151 kilo ashes per watt, which is much, much better than 
the stock settings now if we compare this to the 1660 super you can see the 1660 super is getting 12.52 mega ashes per second at 89 watts as well and at an efficiency of 141 kilo ashes per watt so that just means that the 1660 ti is much more efficient on mining raven coin than the 1660 super now let's look at the profitability of the 1660 ti so we come over to what to mine we have selected the 1660 ti and we can see what the expected hash rate and wattage is on this gpu so according to what to mine we should get around 13.3 mega ashes per second at 90 watts so at 10 cents per kilowatt hour for electricity we go ahead and calculate so at this current moment you can see that ethereum is still the most profitable coin on the 6060 ti at 1.19 dollars after electricity so we'll just scroll down until we can see where ravencoin is at so here you can see the block reward of 2500 for ravencoin and we expect to make 0 0.8 dollars before electricity and 58 cents after electricity on this gpu so let's compare ravencoin before the happening and after the happening so here i've got a screenshot that i've taken a few blocks before the happening happened so you can see with the exact same hash rate and wattage so you can see here that we got almost one dollar before electricity and 78 cents after electricity so we have seen a significant decrease in the network hash rate for ravencoin as well as the difficulty the price of ravencoin is also down from the from the highs that we had in december and early january so going forward into the future i guess we just have to wait and see what the price action does of ravencoin at this current moment it's still very profitable to mine ravencoin especially on the 1660 ti as well okay and this wraps up the video for for testing the 1660 ti mining raven coin after the happening happened please let me know in the comments below which overclocks you are using and what hash rates you are getting from your cards also if you found this video useful please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel stay safe stay healthy and i will see you in the next video